so we have a change of plans with the six liter. Just a little change. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you know what my change of plans are. Welcome to Life with Belsif. Today, we're gonna power wash the rest of this. I WD-40 last night. I wanna get it cleaned up before I pick it up off the trailer. I wanna get it as clean as possible. So we're gonna fire up the power washer here and we're gonna hose the bastard. There you go, can you see better? For your right, yeah. So we'll turn the water on and we'll see what happens. Actually, it probably needs fuel. And we'll see if she runs long enough. Okay. Ah, yeah. Go that is the other way. I know that once it's on the freaking engine stand, it's gonna need that again. Oh, hey. Now what we'll do is we'll roll it back in here, get situated, and uh, get the old cherry packer set up and get it off the freaking trailer, Jim. Okay, so we're gonna attempt to see if we can't get this thing off the trailer. Now, I'm a little bit, uh, there's not a hell of a lot of spots to grab on this motor, engine, but we're gonna try to go for the big lift through here, which should work. Just. I have to come on the other side of this wheel. Another leg around here. Close. There we go. So we're lifting from there, and we'll lift her from here, and we'll see what kind of angle of the dangle we get on her. Just gotta make sure you're not on anything we're gonna break. We should be all right there. Decent. What we gotta do now, take this piece of chain and go to the back of the transmission so we can pick that up at the same time. Um, yeah, that's not going to work. Terrible. Let's see what this does. Wow. Hold on. We'll get this thing so it's friggin' tits. I'm very picky when it comes to lifting an engine. There you go. That's how I do it. Where there's a will, there's a way, Captain. Just let her drain for a bit there. We'll let her hang. So there you go. Not too bad. See, I got around the manifold, around there, up here, over to there, and down here across the head so it doesn't break anything. Decent. Sure the hell ain't gonna set it in like that. But I'm gonna let this stuff drain out. I'll be back. We'll get her on the ground, Captain. Well. I got bolts out of the uh, manifolds, except for the two that broke off, of course, on both sides, they came off. So we're pretty good there. So I just gotta remove this dipstick. You should be able to get uh, get somewhere here. This is all the stuff that you need to not know. So I'm hoping this dipstick just pulls out of the block because it goes through the manifold, we need that off. So get that out, and then we'll give it a little wiggle wiggle. Now, I'm not sure, we better look to see how these come out. Maybe they're bolted in, I don't know. They sure don't look like it. Just remember when you're doing this, take it easy, eh? I think she's been in there a while. Dig her out with a pick tool. Let's pick this out and see what's really going on. Oh my god, that doesn't even look like it's freaking moving, Captain. How the hell is that coming over there? WD-40! So we'll give that a little squirt and let her kind of seep in a little bit. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you think uh, you know how to do this. Spray a fryer stem with Spray a fryer. pull right out. Are you all right? This is smaller. Is that what happened to you? <laughs> well, that's, that's how you get them out. And you Sorry about that. Them. Apologize. <laughs> Makes it smaller. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard that before. Oh, you know what I'm doing right now that's stupid? I've got the engine lifted up with a manifold unbolted with a chain around the manifold. <laughs> so we might want to set this thing down, I'm thinking. Just a thought, you know. I could be wrong. What do you think, Dad? That's like putting a tree off, a uh, branch off a tree, the one you're standing on. Yeah, that's right. Tis, tis it. Still on the goddamn. Oh, decent. What are you doing? 
today. Hey, bro, hand me that jack stand right there. You got the wrong color sweater on, buddy. Yeah, he's not. Just leave it. Just hand it to you. I got it. Why don't you do jack stands all the way around? Well, I right will, there. but it, it's not going to go anywhere. Frig. Oh, that nail falls off. Check that out. My nail full fell right off for me, Jim. Awesome. Oh, look at the port I can do to this head. Oh, hey. Oh, look at the amount of port I can do here, Bri. Holy. Decent. I'll be back. So we got the exhaust manifolds right off now. So now we can see all that. We got the transmission lines out of the way. We got to get the oil out of the, the oil cooler lines out of the way. But I'm going to yank the intake right now. We'll take a look inside and see what's what. So I figure you might want to be around for that. So I fired the camera back up. Now I just got to look for a spot to put you. Hold on, we'll figure something out here. Spin the cherry packer around and we'll use it. Can you see? Probably not. Why would you? So we need, looks like a neat mill, right mill, something mill. The reason why I'm pulling the intake too is because I want to put new knock sensors in it, of course, because you don't want to do all this work without putting new knock sensors in. They like to go, if you know what I'm saying. So we'll start by trying to get the fucking ratchet together. Um, let's get a real tool here. I'm not into the... Hand bombing. That's it. That thing should lift right off there. Oh, we got one line over here we gotta get off. Hold on. Line up here. There we go. And we got the PCB valve, which is that easy. Ah, oh, decent. We got one more line, boys, we forgot. Which is a valve cover vent. So I'll take that off. And we'll lift her up. There we go. Intake off, Captain. Just like that. So we'll put this over here. And now we're down to uh, just heads. You know, they're pretty freaking dirty. But they're not bad. They're a little carbon build up. You know, watch out we don't get anything in the old valve section here. Man, this thing could really do with some port jobs. She could really do with a little portage. So now that that's off, as you can see, she's pretty dirty. We said the engine looked clean, but it's actually not very clean. It's a little dirty. So let me just grab a light here and I'll show you. Brought to you by Snap-on, why wouldn't you? Hey, decent. So as you can see, you can't see much at all. The runners are pretty dirty. It's clean back there, and a little dirty there. So we gotta try to get that out of there. Oh, hey, there is definitely some carbon build up in this one. The valves look okay. They're hard to tell, but they don't look bad. A little bit of water. So the intake was leaking, because a little water sitting on that valve in there. A little bit of water in that valve. A little bit of water in that valve. So there you go. That tells you the intake was leaking a little bit. So we'll get some rags. We'll stick some rags in here. And then we'll uh, clean all these head parts off here. And we'll go from there. I'm really starting to think about pulling this freaking the heads off and cleaning the heads. Look at the port that can be done on these heads too. Just so much port. And port the hell out of her, Jim. So leave your comments down below if you think I should pull the heads, clean them up, and go from there. Like I said, it looks like we could actually port them quite a bit. Just remember, the more we do, the longer the project. And I was thinking I'll just put it back in the Silverado, but now I'm back to the van again, so I don't know what's really going on. That's about as far as I got today. I'm gonna call her a day here because Mel's here with her friend and mom's at work. Gotta get a new dipstick because it broke off and stuck in the block, so we'll figure that out. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave any comments down below. Let me know what you would do if it was your engine, and we'll kind of go from there. But as for now, go with the flow. I think I might pull the heads off. I'm really thinking I might do that because I don't want to rush this project. I want to be good. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy about what, what, what I see inside these in, intake runners. Like, that's supposed to be clean in there. Look, like, why is an intake runner dirty? What's really going on? Exhaust, I can see the intake? Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave any comments down below. Let me know what you do. And uh, I appreciate every comment. For sure I do. I'm going to wash the Silverado. Take a little break from this. Come back to her later. Love y'all. Till next time. You know what to do for now.